Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Wanted to give you a little bit of a different take on things when you're out practicing next uh, to help you get a little bit more out of your practice. And I, I've been lucky to teach a lot online, so sometimes I have to use some tools um, like a range basket to help us get better. So I'm gonna show you three ways that we can use this today um, for different types of drills, but it, definitely things that you can do that are gonna help your swing, definitely not gonna hurt you. Um, really simple ones too, so I'm gonna go through those now. If, um, if you haven't seen it, I'm running a camp here at Orange County National. I'm gonna be doing them throughout the fall this year, so stay tuned for that. Excited to uh, have some people come down and get some in-person training uh, here at Orange County National. Great spot to do a little bit of everything. Uh, obviously, sunny skies and pretty toasty right now, but it, uh, hopefully when the camps are going, we're gonna be in, in good shape weather-wise. So today I'm going through how we're gonna use the basket to get a little bit um, more productive practice in when we're at the range. So the first one is a pretty standard one, uh, really easy to do. Uh, all we're gonna do is we're gonna set up, we're gonna point the wide end sort of at our stomach and we're gonna put, have the narrow end sort of between the elbows or, or forearms, okay? So for this one, this is great for players that tend to either feel disconnected or through impact, I would say break down or the arms start to overwork and you see a lot of bending. Um, so this one, for everyone, you can definitely do sort of like a, like a hip to hip, no problem. Some players, you might even be able to get pretty close to full. Full depends on sort of range of motion. Well, I'm gonna start with a hip to hip. So I got a little pinch here in the basket making sure that sort of the basket stays in front of my stomach here as I'm doing these shots. Especially for someone that tends to be uh, arm dominant, incredible drill, super simple. Uh, gonna give you a nice feeling that you can uh, take into full swings, but just pushing into the basket, keeping it sort of in my arms, using my body to make that swing. Uh, amazing feeling, super simple. Feels like you don't have to do too much to hit uh, solid shots and straight shots, just back and then turn through. Really keeps, you know, everything together. Ideally, we're trying to make this as simple as we can. There's a lots of moving pieces in golf. This is a really easy drill. Um, if you find the basket falling out or you find it really challenging, just try it without the ball first and then move into the ball second, okay? So that would be step one with the basket. Step two that I like with the basket is for players that tend to really drive the lower body. There's lots of reasons why that can happen, okay? But if we wanted to reframe it and help you get a sense of what it's like to have sort of the trail foot sort of move uh, I would say more laterally than drive out towards the ball or even the trail knee, right? So I'm going back knees moving towards the front knee versus moving towards the ball. So I got the basket here on my right foot, my trail foot. Again, just hitting some soft shots. What's it like to have this knee move closer to my lead knee versus towards the ball? When I move towards the ball, I get a lot of pressure into the basket here, okay? I even have actually the where the handle is, that part is right on my ankle, so I really feel it push. If I go, if I try to go that way, it really doesn't want to let me do that, which is great. So for this one, I'm just keeping, you can see how I had to drive this knee sort of forward. I'm obviously the hip's gonna move around, right? So it's there's some range there, but it's not moving straight out towards the golf ball, okay? So basket's on my trail foot as I'm coming through. Trail knees moving across. Making it really nice, super stable here. Feel like my pressure gets into my front foot. Uh, makes it a lot easier to get through the ball, okay? So that's a really good one. The third one, I, you can use it sort of two different ways. So for this one, the basket's gonna go sort of in between my legs, okay? So for players that, I would say again, dry, like, potentially drive too much this way laterally. This is a good one because we can activate that lead leg a little bit better. It's gonna take out a bit of sway, okay? The second way is um, if you feel like you're having a tough time sequencing the downswing, you could go with the drop the basket, then go. So there's two 
ways that you could actually do the same drill, okay? So the first one is for someone that sways too much, okay? The basket's pushing into the front leg, stabilizing the front leg. If I keep swaying, you'll feel like unsteady here and the basket might drop out. If I keep that pressure into the basket, I'm gonna isolate that lead leg. I'm gonna do that one first. So basket's in, narrow stance, isolating how that lead leg is sort of posting up and then able to come through. Man, that feels tight. Like in the sense of how tight my lower body movement there is, there's not much room to keep going in a good way. Like it feels like I, again, have to stabilize, produce a, a really nice push into the basket, almost like I'm squeezing it between my thighs there. And then the other one is, you know, sort of the standard, little more Sam Sneedish, go up to the top, drop it, and then go through, that one's gonna give you the sequencing, okay? Like, if you feel like you're, you know, rushing that downswing, that one where you go up, stop, drop it, and then drive through from there. Another way to do it, lots of ways to use the range basket, lots of ways to get better. I hope these ones are fun. Uh, give them a try, like, even if you don't know if they're applicable to you, get the feel of what those drills can do for for your game and see if the ball flight starts to change. If you start to see a positive impact on the ball flight, might be a great drill to stick with. Thanks for watching guys, I hope this helps.